uh, one of the most important things is to keep the flag flying. And the, uh, uh, there was one person that was dedicated to carrying that flag throughout the battles. And uh, any time that, uh, that person went down, being shot or whatever, uh, someone had to retrieve it. Well, in this case, uh, it was a huge battle, and uh, this uh, James Evans went back through the battle, getting his way into the to the uh, flag, and retrieved it, and, and led the charge with the members so that they can get to continue the battle. September 12th, 1845, James Robert Evans is born in New York City. No one could have imagined then what he would go on to accomplish in his life. June 30th, 1861, Evans enlists in the military to fight in the Civil War. Although he's only 18 years old at the time, he gives his birth date as 1843. I think in those times, the, uh, uh, they had kids going into the service very young. Uh, they were all gung-ho and, uh, you know, they want to get the battle going and so forth. So they were young and they took them in. They didn't have rules like they do today as, as much as they did. And they didn't check as hard as they did uh, for how, how old the individuals were. They just needed people to fight. During his service, he goes on to fight in battles at Fair Oaks, Second Bull Run, Fredericksburg, Gettysburg, Spotsylvania, in the battle for which he is most widely known. May 5th, 1864, Battle of the Wilderness. During the skirmish, the color bearer is killed. With the American flag in jeopardy of being captured by the enemy, Evans, only 18 years of age, sprints out to the front of the line under fierce fire and in the face of a rapidly advancing enemy, rescues the regimental flag. Later in the battle, he advances into enemy territory and retrieves crucial information that saves the regiment from, quote, probable annihilation, an act that earns him a promotion to the rank of captain. June 29th, 1864, Petersburg, Virginia. James R. Evans musters out of the service. Upon leaving Virginia, he returns to Jersey City where he meets and marries Julia Kinsey. 1875, James and his bride move to Paquonic Township and take up residence in the historic Martin Berry home, starting a legacy in the wondrous, beautiful valley. During this time at Paquonic, and due to his substantial leadership skills, Evans goes on to hold several prominent positions in the township. At different times during his residence, he serves on the Board of Education, keeps the general store at Pompton Plains, and was even the constable. In addition, he also served as the railroad agent for the Erie Railroad at the Paquonic Railroad Station for 26 years, where he also served as the postmaster for Paquonic. February 25, 1894, James Robert Evans received the Congressional Medal of Honor for his gallantry on the battlefield at the Wilderness, which he accepts in a ceremony at the Berry House. Evans is now buried in the cemetery of the First Reformed Church of Pompton Plains, New Jersey, and is the only Medal of Honor recipient at the site. <laughs>